But anyway, who remembers a little more than – jeez, was that six years ago? About six and a half years ago, the World Magnetic Model Out of Cycle release. This was um, – a quietly embarrassing moment for the top geophysicists on this planet. Basically, for the last five or six five-year increment cycles, the same thing happens. They predict that the magnetic pole shift is going to slow down. It doesn't do that. It speeds up. And in 2019... It had sped up so much more than their forecast had predicted that they had to reissue the world magnetic model. It, the, the magnitude of such an event was crazy. Um, they smartened up a little bit, and for the most recent five-year increment, they didn't have it slowing down. They had it basically maintaining its pace. And while it did speed up, it didn't exceed the error limit that would have caused them to do another world magnetic model out of cycle release. But this was this was big. And the reason it happened is because Earth's magnetic pole shift kept speeding up. Um, this was the big story from this morning. And there are some key things I, I want to point to because I've seen data supporting them in other places and I've seen scientists discussing these things in other places as well. Um, so first, uh, they're focusing on confirming early signs of forecast degradation detected in spring of 2025. What does that mean? Well, the forecast degradation getting so bad is what caused them to have to do this. So here we are. They just released the world magnetic model in December of 2024. It's spring 2025, and we're already ha starting to see the signs. They're going to have to do this again. Why would that be the case? Well, I can tell you this, that the world magnetic model data cutoff had to be months before that but they also said possible geomagnetic jerk centered in western europe and north america in 2024 which i'm imagining if it was anywhere in the latter half of 2024 it would not have been in the data for the world magnetic model that got released several months later in december and so <clears throat> We already have signs of forecast degradation, which basically means the error rate is growing. And now we know that we had a, a geomagnetic jerk observed over Western Europe and North America. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. That puzzles me because it is almost certain that what Dr. Sergei Semenenko identified for March of 2023, which was associated with a phenomenal acceleration and magnetic anomaly uh, in terms of this ongoing magnetic pole shift. That would mean these two things happened one year after another. I've never seen geomagnetic jerks in back-to-back -back years. Never. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually happened before. Um, Not to mention the fact that they said it's following a secular acceleration pulse centered in 2022. That one, that one hasn't been published anywhere else. I'm not even sure what the heck they're talking about. Um, I'm going to do what I can to get the poster and see if I can, if anybody's going to AGU 25 in December, uh, by all means, don't miss this. This is, this is my, this is the number one thing in the program I wouldn't miss if I was going. Over the next couple of days, I promised you guys I'm going to be sharing some of the best uh, presentations, poster sessions, etc. that are coming at AGU 25. And I'm going to be doing that over the coming days, but I save the best for first. All right. That's how I do things. That's I don't know how to do it any other way. 
Um, and so this one's curious. So um, I'd like to, I, 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 I want to know more about this pulse that they saw in 2022. I would like to know if there is a really a geomagnetic jerk in 2024, because geomagnetic jerks are supposed to be four to seven years apart. They're not supposed to be in back to back years. I'm kind of hoping they're wrong. I, I don't know. And then of course that I don't want to pull too much focus away from the fact that it took one season. We got through winter at the start of the year of 2025 and then spring came. We got through one season before the error rate got to the point where they're calling it forecast degradation. Anyway, that's going to be uh, December 17th. That's going to be a good one. Uh, I will be... Where are they doing? They're doing that in New Orleans. Yeah. It just so happens I know for a fact that during this entire thing, I've got the kids. Not to mention the fact that a couple of days before that, I am going to be uh, in San Diego, California, and that would be a lot of traveling. You guys know that the tickets for the winter tour are available, right? 